keep going, man. <laughs> that's that's my plan. I'm doing some market research for a school project, and I was just wondering if you could answer a quick question for me by any chance. Um, so I'm just wondering, like, what the biggest problem that r- realtors are facing today that, like, if you could have removed would make your life 10 times easier? Ooh. Lack of education and other realtors and incompetence as a result. Okay. And that's just incompetence of them not knowing how to close deals or what exactly would that be? Strategy, communication, how to work with other human beings, <laughs> um, competence and skills. Just uh, in general, a lot of people find it's a really easy job that they can just make a million bucks in and they jump in and um, treat it as a as a hobby and it does nobody any justice. Gotcha. So like it for... It's probably the biggest problem is a lack of professionalism, I guess you could call that in one word. And do you think that there's a way to train people to do that or is that something that they can only come up with on themselves or for themselves? I've been trying for a long time. I offer free coaching to anyone that asks to try and help raise the bar. And I know a lot of other people do the same. There's coaching. Uh, There's brokerages that offer more training than others, more hands-on versus hands-off. But uh, the real estate industry does not, like the real estate commission does not require a high level of training. A pretty crazy example is uh, it takes 1,500 hours to get your certification and license to cut hair and 164 to get your real estate license that yeah that's not adding up to me because like the home's one of the biggest decisions that people make and if they don't know how to communicate with another human they're kind of like shot in the dark basically yeah and just like a lot of professional tests uh the real estate exam doesn't teach you a whole lot about how to do real estate so people people do get their license and, and really have no idea what to do afterwards and there's a lot of different ways that you can begin after taking that exam. So a lot of people talk about maybe being uh, like having an apprenticeship required, for example, uh, or, or some type of hands-on mentor rather than just three transactions or two years having a broker look over your contracts, having more of a hands-on apprenticeship required. And that would be more in line with you know electrical and plumbing and even cutting hair, um, cosmetology and any of that stuff. And do you think it has to come from like somebody that's already been certified in the real estate industry or could it be from somebody that just understands like human behavior and how humans work? You know, it's a tough question because in my professional selling classes, I had some fantastic professors that, uh, you know, ran oil company sales programs and some fantastic professors that had been professors since they graduated college. Yeah. It's one of those things where I've just noticed like sometimes like, some of the best teachers might not have ever actually done it themselves, but they know how to teach and help get results for those other people. Exactly. And some of the best performers are terrible teachers. <laughs> so, so very true. Well, I appreciate that, Cody. I'll take that. Sit down there. <laughs> yeah. But so like the typical coaching programs that you have, I mean, it sounds like you're somebody that's interested in that, but there's just other people in the industry that are like, no, screw coaching. I don't want to do it. Like most people don't want to do coaching when it comes to, okay, that works. Dude, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay. So professional, professional courtesy. Oh, I think I lost you. No, it's all all good. I didn't know if you had another call coming in. I was talking with a realtor just the other day and she had to jump off for a quick second. So completely understand. But, but so you say the coaching is like the biggest thing and you've invested in your own coaching yourself then? My biggest expense besides my own mortgage is a real estate coach. Okay. And is that what, like $1,000 a month or something like that? Or is it even? It's over $2,000 a month. That's pretty much what my college tuition was. Yeah. And you've found results from that as well too? Oh yeah. It's going to, it's going to be about a 10 times return on investment in the first year. That's inc- having a new coach, for example. That's incredible. And he was a real estate broker or agent before going into coaching it's a she but yeah when i've had a different i've had a couple different coaches and they're for different things but um but yeah for example this new coach is a business systems and operations coach so helping to build out automations and more uh automated systems uh, more workflows things like that yeah take off a little like automate everything for you so you can get 
and do what is actually driving revenue. That's right. Awesome, man. No, I appreciate you sharing that with me. I'm looking at starting like my own little coaching thing as well. That's what the school project is about is like trying to get and figure out if I can do that type of work. So I always love getting like feedback and seeing what other people have found like success in. So I appreciate you sharing that with me. Where are you going to school? Uh, here? Um, so I'm actually out in Grand Junction um, out there right now. Right. So on the front range, I just I grew up in Colorado, Little Tenaria. So I've been here my whole life. And I've loved it. The mountains are some of the best things that I could ever like experience. And I'm like, I don't ever see myself leaving. Sure. Nice. Well, yeah, there's a, for, in terms of uh, additional research, there is a, uh, there's a company where I get my coaching through. It's the number one real estate coaching company in America through Tom Ferry coaching. Might be good to, to research or chat with somebody there even and get some insight. They've got some amazing tools and they provide a lot of free resources to agents as well as paid. Perfect. Yeah, I think I heard about Tom Fury when I was doing a little bit of the research beforehand, too. And he was the number one dude. And I'm like, I don't know how I would be able to compete with him. But I'm like, you get me versus like having like this big company. When I do my stuff, I'm like, I'll do everything. I'll go to the ends of the earth for you, man, basically to make things work. So that's my little thing with how I do it. But not everybody does those yeah, same things. They're pretty big, and his dad, Mike Ferry, is one of the largest business coaches in the world as well, kind of like a Tony Robbins. And, um, you know, they just, uh, it, it's really important with coaching. Like I said, I've had a couple of coaches and, and some of them are more, are more mindset based. Some of them are more tactical in their strategies. Some of them, you know, are good for basic strategies. Some of them are good for, uh, creative marketing and social media versus, um, you know, door knocking and cold calling and, and some more uh, old school strategies. So it's really important for agents or any business owner to find somebody that can meet them where they're at. And it might not be a good fit long term. It might just be a good fit for where they're at right now. Um, but in business, of course, there's nothing to take personal. It just depends on where you're at. Exactly. And everybody starts at different places. And that's where I feel like a lot of coaching that I've at least done myself and have come to is like they overgeneralize it and they don't start with where the person's at. So I'm glad to hear that that's where your coach is helping you out is like, okay, this is what we want to do for you. How are we going to get there for you at where you're at in your career? I feel like that's the best way to do anything because it's like going to the gym too. Like you're not going to tell somebody that's brand new to lift 250 pounds. You're going to be like, let's start out with the bar and then like work our way up. So I look at coaching the same way for everybody. You got to start where they're at. So yeah, I'll take, I'll take that into consideration. And the mindset coach, did you ever hire one of those as well too then? Yeah, I've had two different ones and, um, very also very different personalities between them um one was more like sports brain um and the other one it was a uh trained as a monk uh, but uh looks like a biker and sold his company in his early 30s for well over 100 million dollars and retired early and um so very different ends of the spectrum but just uh you know, self-motivation and health and wellness on top of just business. And, um, and that's a big thing right now. Actually, it's a big trend in business is including being inclusive of health and wellness and, and mental fortitude on top of your business. Cause you're not going to ever operate your best if you're not feeling your best. Beautiful dude. Okay. So professionalism mindset, he's paying $2,000 a month for a coach. 